Good evening, folks, and welcome to another Overly Summarized Histories. I'm your host, Emily Faint, and today we are going to be talking about the very relevant history of Juneteenth. The name itself is derived from a combination between the words of June and 19th, which come together to create Juneteenth, a day which celebrates the freeing of all slaves in the newly reformed Union. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, a piece of legislature stating that all slaves in both the Union and the Confederacy were now free. However, enforcement of this new law required the advancement of Union troops, and seeing as how the Confederate states weren't just going to let their slaves go, this presented a problem. Texas was the state that was most isolated and remote of the slave states, thus prolonging the enslavement of African Americans there. On June 19, 1865, a Union general by the name of Gordon Granger announced the federal orders in Galveston, Texas, that all slaves were now free from bondage. So today we're going to do something a little different, and instead of just going on with the history speak, we're going to go into opinion. So one of the many commonly asked questions regarding Juneteenth is, why isn't it a national holiday? I mean, it celebrates the freedom of all the slaves in America becoming free, down to the last child. Some people say that it isn't because the government fails to recognize the true horrors of slavery, and if they acknowledged it, then they would be responsible for paying the descendants of former slaves reparations and restitution, says a writer for Powers 106 FM podcast. Now, reparations and restitution are a very volatile term, and I don't want to get this channel red flagged by YouTube for digging deeper into this very dividing political ideology, so I'm just going to leave it at that and move on. Well, that's all today, folks. I'm sorry it was short. Not really. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep your eye out for future videos coming up. As always, I'm your host, Emily Faint, and this has been yet another Overly Summarized History. Ciao!